afternoon, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here we have a live view of Yellowstone National Park from their web camera. We're looking back upon the Upper Geyser Basin there. Uh, this is a camera that they labeled for Old Faithful Geyser. Yeah, um, the camera is really poor quality. But one thing I do like about it um, is that it shows the dead trees that have been increasing because of the gases coming up from the volcano, which is killing them off. And yeah, they show up really good because of the poor quality of color. And um, I think it gives um, frame rate maybe uh, one frame um, every 30 seconds, something like that. Maybe Maybe two frames every um 30 seconds yeah poor quality yellowstone there at the lake yeah it's still screaming here's a monitor for little west thumb there at the lake going to google earth this is yellowstone lake this is a uh, little west thumb this they consider um, a small caldera it erupted, oh, probably 162 to 150,000 years ago. Over here, drawn out in red. They do know they have a, a crack um, under the earth. It's got a, a cap of rhyolite down there. And they do know that magma has been trying to come up. Over here also at Little West Thumb is Grant Village. And this area too in the past. Uh, the crust is weaker, more brittle, and there's been a lot of earthquakes in that area. So possibly, um, yeah, that might be what's going on. The magma has found a way to come up over here on this side of Little West Thumb. Over here in this area, too, there was hydrothermal explosions. That's where the magma came up in the ground. Uh, heated the water under the ground and uh, blew out several large holes over here. Yeah, Duck Lake um, was from a formation from a hydrothermal explosion, maybe about 4,000 to 6,000 years ago. So if the magma is coming up in this area again very well, they could have another hydrothermal explosion. And that could be very dangerous for the people visiting the park. So at 9.04 a.m. today, you can see right here, let me change it from the spectrogram to the seismic signature. Magma was coming into the system and it came in so fast and so loud. The equipment that monitors earthquakes in that area uh, could not record it. Yeah, too fast and too loud. So we got these blank spots. And you can see the line of melt here. The bottom one's probably about 10 miles um, down. And the uh, one closer to the top, I would say maybe 3 to 5 miles down. There is pockets of melt only about 600 feet under where people are walking. Sometimes these intrusion of magma is very hard to see. And it looks like we got one here at 2354. Now this is universal time. So that would have been yesterday at about 654 local time. And then, yeah, it gives you the minutes and stuff. And then we got... Well, you can see here we got a lot of, let's go to the signature. Yeah, drum beats going on. Okay, so there's that one, and then there's that one right there. Again, came in so loud that it just wouldn't pick it up. We'll go to the seismic signature. Uh, 2323 universal time. So that would have been about 623 local time, and we'll bring it over so you can see it. And is there anything else on this monitor? Well, we got a lot of, yeah, more drum beats, uh, magma coming into the system. Now, this looks like to be tectonic in nature for the earthquakes. There is some rounded tops. That one's kind of pointy, and that one's a little pointy, but there's some with rounded tops, which means it's volcanic and harmonic tremors, which means magma is coming into the system, rising up. 1702 yeah look at the magma 
that came up. This is not hot gases. This is magma. Look at the heat. At 1702, this would have been yesterday, 12.02 p.m. And we got some more there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yep, yep. And, of course, you can see here we got heated water and heated gas. And, again, it came in so fast. Oops, I'm off the line. Came in so fast that it couldn't pick it up. Okay, and we'll come over to the other signatures. Yeah. Four different popping of the rock. I'll show you that. See that? The rock popped, snapped. Yeah, putting pressure on the crust of the earth to bring up this, uh, oh, dike intrusion possibly of the magma. Yep, that is not good. USGS says the greatest threat there at Yellowstone National Park is not an eruption, but it is the eruption of a hydrothermal explosion. And this has been going on recently. All new activity that's been going on. And we got some more right here. Yep. Uh, 1305 again. Came in so fast it wouldn't pick it up. 1305 universal time. So that would have been 805 a.m. yesterday. And then we got another one right there at 1222 universal. So that would have been 7.23 a.m. yesterday. And unless I go through each individual line, yeah, let's check out this stuff. It's often hard to find them. I'm clicking on different areas where it looks like there was earthquakes when I just pulled the files a little while ago. I just click on them and look. Again, this is Little West Thumb. This is the last earthquake that USGS is reporting at 1353. At 853 a.m. today, they are saying it is a magnitude 1.3, but it is actually a magnitude 1.7 to maybe a 1.75 or 8. And this is from the borehole, borehole 207. You can see we got lots of them marked in red here. A lot. Look at all the activity that's been happening today. Yeah, and see, that's probably three to five miles down right there. This is for the borehole. Boreholes are very deep. They're probably about 600 feet under the ground where they have the monitors, if not deeper. And then we got a bunch of drum beats up over here. Let me get that. We'll go to the seismic signature. Let me bring it up, and we'll make that larger. You can see, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, all these drum beats that were going on that the uh, borehole was picking up. And let's extract that. Harmonic tremors. Magma, it's still coming into the system. It's still recharging. One day it will have an eruption. Hopefully not a large eruption where it changes the climate. For the earth for decades yeah hopefully that doesn't happen but yeah it's just a matter of time before it does so at 1404 it was screaming there at little west thumb and i wanted to see what it was doing here at the borehole and let's extract this and take a look at what was going on yeah it looks like tectonic in nature for the movement. I also downloaded data from the western boundary. So we got 1404. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah, see the lines of melt, how close they are? Yeah, and like I said, there is pockets of melt only 600 feet below where people are walking. And this line, I would guess maybe two to three miles below where people are walking. And this is what it was showing there at the western boundary at that time. Yeah, not good. And we'll close this out. We got a few marked in red here. This is the most recent that it's showing. Yeah, tectonic and harmonic. You can see the points. And then over here how it's a little bit more rounded. Yeah. And then let's pull this up. 
Yeah, we got a lot more going on here. All right, so for Little West Thumb, let me pull it up where you can see it. This is what it was showing at 1703 Universal. This is Western Boundary. We got quite a few lines of melt there. I don't know if you can see it. One heavy line of melt, and then it gets thinner as it goes up towards the top. And we'll look at its seismic signature. Yeah, this is all tectonic. Let's look at the other one. 1703 for the bore hole. This is the bore hole. All right, let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, hot pockets of water. See that? Okay, and we'll pull it over a little bit. Go back to the uh, seismic signature. So there's all three monitors. Let me bring this down. We got the western boundary on the left, the borehole um, for Yellowstone Lake, and then Little West Thumb. Steamboat geyser eruptions have really slowed down. Is it drying up? I don't know. They just had that flood there. Um, it's been 10 days, 3 hours before the you know, eruption on June 10th there was last one was june 20th today is august 2nd it has gone as far as 34 days yeah it's really slowing down oh we just now caught old faithful going off i don't know if it's just ending or if it's just starting yeah old faithful's been kind of irregular lately let's watch it for a minute here and see what's happening i don't know a lot of the people are leaving so maybe it is finishing up normally they zoom in on it when it erupts yeah i don't know if it is erupting it's it's a short one it's not very strong Okay, it's 2.46 p.m. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, very disappointing. Must have caught the end of it. It says it was uh, a long duration. And it's been erupting one hour and 28 minutes there, and one hour and 34 minutes there, one hour and 40 minutes. So it looks like they moved the camera again. And looks like we got some rain clouds coming in, which means I'll probably get it in maybe two days, three days at the most. But once again, gives you a better view of some of the dead trees through this area. Yeah. So that's all I ha have for you right now, Pete have any thoughts or comments or questions please put them down below and thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you very much for your support um please share my videos please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless you bye